Hi, my name is Emily Barrington, and I just want to start off by saying that the whole time I was reading this article, I was in shock. My mouth was open probably the whole time reading these things were just so surprising to me. The stuff that they do is so unlike American culture, which is what I'm used to. Um, I definitely think that it was interesting to read about how similar in a way how much we base our culture off of our body. I think a lot of American culture, we focus on our body, but in a way that's different because we want to look good. We want to take care of our bodies. We want to, you know, look the best for everyone else, be healthy, all these things. While this culture really does see their body as just totally, you know, gross and ugly and they want to rid of all diseases but the way that they do that is so very different from the way that we do that a thing that really surprised me the most was the way that women you know are so submissive to these people called the medicine men i think that that was very shocking to me because you know in american culture we really i mean me as a woman guard our bodies take care of our bodies we don't want to you know i think a lot of the stuff that they maybe do to those women are harmful and hurtful and i'm sure those women don't like however they still do it because that's you know what you're supposed to do in that culture and i think that that is just so you know very different from what we do um it just surprised me how you know they're still functional at this time because i really resonated with when they said that they uh that they are still here just because, you know, the way that they take care of their body seems very harmful, uh, very not productive at all. Um, however, that's just from our view because we are so used to our culture, but it was definitely shocking to say the least. Um, now moving on, I think something in American culture that we do that may be a little bit strange to other cultures is we emphasize small talk on a regular basis in public so much. Small talk, small talk, small talk, you know, you're, whatever you're doing, whenever you're out in public, we, um, whether that be public transportation on buses, on trains, on, um, planes in the airport, that kind of thing. Um, even, you know, you go get food and, you are waiting in line or you're at a restaurant you make small talk with these people all, all these strangers around you because that's such a normal thing it makes people comfortable um me i'm a very social person so if i go get food for lunch and i'm waiting in the chick-fil-a line if i see someone um next to me that looks interesting i am bored i want to strike up i want to strike up a conversation so you know i'll start off by saying oh i like your shoes or something like that and then carry on a conversation from there and i think that's very normal um you know we ask questions like how are you what are you up to where are you going what's what's your plan like who are you basically and i think in other cultures um they find that very alarming in a way if you were to do that in a more you know um guarded country people who guard themselves i think they'd be like why is this person asking me that what are your intentions what's going on like um it's kind of creepy it's kind of you're unsure while in american culture that's just so normal you know and i think um over time it's definitely been uh something that has changed just a little bit because you know as we grow as a culture and a community um, technology has been a way bigger focus um, you know we have seen phones and technology just flourish everyone now has them and so when you get in line or you're doing somewhere something out in public uh, you have this screen you just have this screen everyone's glued to it it's easy to use that as your way to cope with awkwardness or shyness in public so i'll go to a line and i see everyone is just on their phone i think that's um caused it a little bit downhill for just like strangers communicating making small talk i think that's definitely changed a little bit however it's still a common thing um and i think that even though it's going down a little, it's still very common. I think that that is a very uh, productive and beneficial thing in our society because at least for me personally, it's taught me how to communicate better. It's taught me how to, you know, be more comfortable in different settings and with people that I don't really know. So if I'm meeting someone new, 
I know the basic questions. I know what to t how to talk to them. I know how to make someone comfortable around me, you know, if I have an interview somewhere or I'm just meeting someone new for the first time. I know kind of how it's going to go or I, I am able to be comfortable in the presence of others depending on how they react to me. I know how to make people comfortable in my presence. I think it's a very beneficial thing and I think, you know, if you continue to talk to someone, that's another thing is in our culture, in America, we have so much diversity um, and so many people to learn from. I think it's very beneficial to have that small talk to potentially open up to a stranger and you're able to learn something, something you didn't know. And I think in a lot of other places, they don't have that, you know, openness to learn. And I think um, American culture has made that normal and I think it's very cool. So overall, even though it is changing over time, I think that it has really become a beneficial process. I think that um, compared to other cultures, we really have that going for us. And I think um, in the grand scheme of things, it's very helpful.